We are going back to grandma's house. We are heading to my mom's house. I'm gonna make some breakfast. She wants to make some vegan cheese. She says she's been soaking her nuts, so. Okay, so we're all done making breakfast. We have our vegan tofu scramble, except I put goat cheese on it, and then some salad and toast and berries. Mommy, look at how yummy, are you ready? I guess we have to clean up the dog poop. <laughs> this is my beautiful house, and we're having breakfast. Women are magical. You have to listen to this podcast I listened to about sideways evolution and how every person you ever come in contact with, you are sharing their genes, parts of their genes. Like genetic mutations all the time. Only I put up all the Halloween decorations. You have to show the Halloween decorations. I want more toast with that butter. So we're gonna get ready. We're making, we're using this. This cheese is nuts. By Julie Pyatt. I think this is her with a cow. Hello, and welcome to our cooking show. We are gonna make some vegan cheese. I already showed you guys what book we're making it from. We're gonna make the cashew brie. Okay, so we have our two cups of raw cashews. That have been soaked. That have been soaked overnight. My mom did that. One fourth a cup of coconut oil. Three fourths a cup of aquafaba. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And I think you just mix it all together, yeah? Sure. The good thing about this book is all of these cheeses are super, super easy to make. Like usually five ingredients or less. This one has four. Except you have to put it in the humidifier or whatever. Deep For deep. up to three weeks. And then just let her rip. Transfer the mixture to the prepared pan and smooth out the top using a rubber spatula. Cover with a round parchment or paper. Okay. Don't forget the stuff. Ew, it smells weird. So you want it to be like this texture? Yeah. Ooh. It's kind of like Alfredo sauce. So now let's spoon it in the pan. Do we want to fill it to the top? Yep. Yay! And our brie is done. We're gonna go put this in the Humidif humidifier. De is it a dehum? Dehydrator. I think it's a little too soon, Mom. What? What's a little too soon? We're going to put this in the dehumidifier. The dehydrator. <laughs> And it's all yeah. set. So that's it for 24 hours. So we'll check back on that on Tuesday. All right, we're having some major camera malfunctions, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. We ain't crying. So right now we're just peeling these almonds. Super fun. They kind of just pop out. Yeah. Once that's done, we're gonna blend it all together. For this recipe, we're making burrata. We have two cups of almonds. And they've been peeled and soaked. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. A teaspoon of coconut oil. A teaspoon of salt. And then half a cup of coconut, coconut milk. milk. So this is done. Now we're gonna spoon it into this cheesecloth and wring it out. We're squeezing out some of the liquid. Here's our burrata vegan cheese ball floating. For our last cheese, we're going to make the tofu feta. We have our tofu ready. This is one cup and we just mashed it up in there. We have our garlic powder, Greek seasoning and salt in there. Apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and lactic acid from pickle juice, and then coconut oil. So we're gonna blend all of those together and make our feta cheese. Now we have all of our ingredients in here. And we're gonna blend it with this. You just wanna break it up so it's still crumbly like feta. 
So we're done making the feta we had. I, we're filming this on my mom's iPhone because my camera is fucking up. Don't judge. We're smushing the mixture into a glass Tupperware to sit overnight so the tofu can soak up all those flavors. So that's our feta. And then we're gonna try everything on Tuesday. So we're gonna come back on Tuesday and try everything. We're gonna get everything set up on a little tray to try, but I wanted to show you guys before we take it out that the brie spills over. And then we have the burrata that's sitting in coconut milk right now. My mom took it off the hanger. And then all of the other cheeses just sat in a jar overnight. There's two other cheeses. There's a sunflower one and then the feta cheese. Oh. Cheese Cheers. tasting. <laughs> Cheers to cheese. Cheers to cheese. Okay, so this is our cheese spread. Get it? <laughs> so we have brie cheese, which is creamy in the center, and it has a waxy layer on top. That is the cheese that we put in the dehydrator. Then we have a sunflower seed cheese like a cheese spread, kind of looks like hummus. And then we have a feta cheese, which is super crumbly. This one's made with tofu. And then we have the burrata, which is made with um, cashew. Almond cheese. Is, which is made with almonds. So the big cheese is the burrata. Are we gonna try that one first? Yes, we should try that one first. Okay, so we'll try that first. Knives too, mom. Okay, I'm gonna try it first without anything. You can see it's just soft in the center. It's super coconutty. Is it? Ooh. It just kind of tastes like coconut, but it's salty. I don't know, look, it's good. The texture's really good. No, it's good, but it's really coconutty. Mm, mm, yeah. It's burrata. Try it with the tomato and the basil. It tastes really good. It's less coconutty. It's still sweet though. Yeah. Like it's kind of sweet, but in like I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Okay. So I would give this. Oh yeah, on a scale of one to ten, I would give this a six. Wow. I'd probably do the same because the taste is a little too coconutty, but the texture is good. The texture is good. Okay, now let's try the feta. You've tried it already. I'm gonna try it. Oops. She loves feta cheese. I love feta cheese. I'm, that's my favorite cheese. <laughs> Isn't it like oh my wildly God, what good? The fuck? It's wildly good. Like the feta. I wouldn't, if you told me this was feta cheese, I honestly like wouldn't know. I'd be like, oh, what kind maybe? Like oh, is it's that a little Israeli different. Israeli feta or like sheep's milk or? The texture is spot on. The taste is delicious. I didn't think I was gonna like the Greek seasoning. But it gives it a But little... it's so good. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Those cheese wheel things. Oh, Boursin. Yes! Yeah. It's, um, I used it in a, uh, That's what it tastes like. Greek tofu scramble. And then I make a Greek salad and I used it instead of feta and I just, I loved it. So, the feta is a 10 out of 10. Wow. And I'm gonna leave it up to her because she is the feta lover. Like everything she eats over here is I have feta. To have feta. <clears throat> this one we didn't film. My mom just made it. It's a sunflower seed cheese spread. So if you have issues with nuts, it's a seed. It's not a nut. So it's called Malibu Mama's sunflower spread. Okay. Oops, sorry, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try this one first because I made it. Mmm, it's hummus. Yeah, it's basically hummus. It's a really nice texture for a hummus. So, it's good, but it's not a cheese. It's like not really a cheese, it's more of a hummus. But a good hummus, like, mm. I like the taste it leaves in your mouth. Yeah, because it tastes like sunflower seeds. Yeah, now we're on to the brie. This is, I'm super excited about this. Ooh, it's really, really soft. What's it inside? It's super creamy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It tastes like brie. What the hell? And this was more ingredients. That's weird. This really tastes like cheese, right? The brie is freaking delicious. Yeah. It's the one like, thing it does is it does like 
double in size in the uh, dehydrator. So you really have to fill the pan only about half full. Oh, let's rate it. Wait, let's did we the... rate, rate the hummus one? No, we didn't. No, okay, so this sunflower seed cheese spread, if it were a hummus, I would rate it a nine out of 10. For a cheese spread, I rate it a one out of 10 because it's not cheesy. It doesn't have the texture of a cheese spread or the taste. Um, but I guess if you're going cheese spread, like a boursin or something, it's totally a cheese spread. No, I disagree. Well, you can disagree. I, think but I thought it had a good taste, a good interesting taste. Like you could make it for a party and um, it would be great. So um, I'd give it an eight. Back to the brie. I rate the brie 10 out of 10 hands down. Wait, didn't I rate the feta oh. 10 out of 10? Oh yeah. Okay, the feta and the brie are 10 out of 10. The texture was good. It mimicked what it was supposed to mimic pretty well. The flavors were there and they were easy to make. They were the easiest to make. So this is raw Ew, cashews. you just say it, don't spray it. So that's it for the cheese episode. The next video we do, we're using that mic that gets all the sound. The ASMR one? I was gonna say the AF one. Noisy as fuck. Well, I feel back to class. Oh. So you can clean this up. <laughs> I get to clean up. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.